and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Here we are, the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about the chin-up versus the pull-up. Which one is better? The chin or the pull? Yeah. Right. We're going to show which is which and we'll go over all that. By the way, if you're new Ooh. to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Always giving something away. Go to the giveaway section. This week, we're giving away a rental. Is there a name for it? Stationary bike? Stationary bike. Okay. Yeah, yeah well... Bob, we, we did a review on I, this. I got so, a memory you know. thing, you know. I, it's a nice bike. Yeah, it's a nice bike it for uh, working out uh, at home. Takes away excuses. You can't. You don't have to worry about rain. That's right. So, all right. You can also go to Facebook. It'll be pinned at the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a sixty-second version of our program. And Brad, what do we have? The podcast. We have the podcast. That's now. right. You can listen to us without looking at us. Yeah, that's <laughs> real benefit. So, actually, with going to the pull up or the with the system here now right, right. you actually can there's three kinds of grip right there's the pull-up which is palms out okay okay yeah there's a chin up and think about your hand going to your chin that's a, yeah. i'm glad you said yeah. that bob that's palms facing towards yeah. the face towards yeah. your chin mm. you can scratch your chin the last one is, is actually a neutral grip, grip where your palms are facing each sure. other sure so so we, you know Many find the chin up to be the easiest right, one, right. like that. Me, I actually find the pull up to be sure. easier. So, what about the other kind where we the neutral? No, the oh, the, the twist. twist. Yeah, oh, we'll yeah, show that. Whole, that's a secret. Yeah, that's yeah, a secret. The... So, what I found with the study is that there really wasn't that much difference in doing one versus the other. I know the belief is that when you do chin ups, yeah. yeah you're doing more bicep. Yeah, because it looks are, like it. Yeah, yeah, and you are slightly well, doing it. Well, it's more fun to do them. You yeah. can stay. Oh, well, look at them. Biceps. In fact, one study showed that it was, you did the bicep more and the pec major more. Sure. Uh, now, with the pull-up, it was greater. People think it's the lats are more then. Sure. But it wasn't. It was the lower traps. Oh, or really? A little bit more. Yeah. Sure. So, but it just wasn't that great a difference that I think you need to, yeah. I want to focus on biceps today. I, I don't think it, it, it helps that much. They found out that both target muscles in this descending order. Oops. It was lats first, yep. biceps, break eye, infraspinatus, lower traps, pec major, erector spinae, external oblique. Oh, that, Bob, you got me all confused. Yeah, I'm trying I know. to go through in my head. and uh, One way or another, but the big picture of it's not a, a big difference. Yeah, it's not it's, a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, whatever You're you, still doing the same motion. You know, what about the brachial radialis? Yeah, so with the neutral grift... You're going to work the brachial radialis a little more, which is a muscle. Oh, can you see it? I can see your arm. Right there. See it? Oh, yeah. That's a, that's the brachial radialis. Oh, we're, we're sick of that. Let's go on. <laughs> All right. So when you want to do pull-ups at home, what are your choices? So one of them is uh, – actually, I left it over there, Brad. Oh, yeah. The, the bar. We're going to go over to the door and show you. This is a system where – What's nice about this, these are inexpensive, mm -hmm. and they're they're uh, easy to set up, yep. but I think they're dangerous. Yeah, there are some other issues about it, too, but we'll, we're going to show right. a little demo. Okay, so this is the bar. I have it hooked up on the door already. Uh, first off, it doesn't fit right on this door, and this is, I don't know, what is this? A th Probably a 36-inch. 36-inch door. So it, it doesn't, this these parts right here need to go beyond this, and they, they don't go beyond this. They're... For a more narrow door. A lot of residential doors will have... Will fit. Yeah, probably the majority. So, But you do need to consider that. So make sure that you know you don't have it in mind for too wide of a door. Right. You, you'll have to measure your door first and before you order this. Yep. So then it you know, basically uses... I don't know. Is this physics, Brad? You know? <laughs> uh, so uh, what they it comes with is this little piece. Can you just show that, Brad? Yep. So... They ask for, or they give you a little metal piece of sheet metal that you put up behind your trim, and then that is supposed to hook there, and that's supposed to help offer support, which, you know, it certainly does. Um, yeah, because I did see, if you go on uh, pull-up fail online, yeah. I did see someone who, 
it just came off. You know, he right. was he, he was doing a pull up, and I yeah. mean, you take a bad fall yeah. with these. The other thing is, if like in in my house, I do have some walls that are made out of two by sixes, which this is. Uh, then it's too thick of a wall, and that won't fit anyways, because that's why we're having problems with this. So make sure you have a, a, a narrow. Oh yeah, thick door. this way. Yeah. Yeah, uh, commercial buildings is probably not going to fit it. It's made for residential, so there is some considerations. Again, it'll probably fit in your house, uh, but so I want to show how you do the pull-ups. Well, I don't know if I want to do one. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, but just I'm show. I'm going to pull. Yeah, so you got this way. That that way. I imagine you can go like this yep. too, and then this way, like we had mentioned. Oh uh, yeah, like yep. this. Yep, so, or like this. Yep. So take it off once, Bob. Now this is a problem. You know, you might. They're padded fairly well, so you probably won't scratch a trim, but these trim boards are put on with trim nails, which are not yeah, very strong. Yeah, little nails. They're, they're thin. They're, it might be a Brad, number eight, number 10, whatever, probably six. A Brad. Yeah. You got to get your name in yeah. here, didn't you? So anyways, you know, this can happen, and that's a problem. It's a danger thing, and plus, it's you don't like to do that to your trim in your house. Well, but anyways, it's funny that we we just put it on here. We didn't, we didn't make this trim loose it was like this yeah so i mean it's not unusual so you're going to want to make sure that trim is well secured right because if that gives way and you go down you could get hurt yeah so and that's not fun right all right we'll go back over here and show a different uh, alternative so for those of you who are familiar with bob and brad right uh, we've been selling wall anchors for years and they come with I and mean, you also can order along with it some exercise bands right. and uh, and with this you know like if you order from our website you get four of these and you, you can set them up different levels and you can do just a myriad of exercises I mean you right. can I mean you can exercise every muscle in your body well, pretty much what are we doing here Bob? I know I'm going to show you why this this hall developed okay you know? a little history a little history right so I'm going to put this on here a little bit different Brad yeah we can actually go through the middle like this yep like that. Sure. Now we wanted to give you some more options. And right. pull-ups, you know, you can do lats with these. Sure. But I wanted to show how you could do full body weight pull-ups. Right. So Brad invented this and he is a very clever man. And uh I, I don't know about that, Bob, but it luck uh, we lucked out on this one. I think. Yeah, it, it really works out well. So I can actually leave my bands up here if I want to. Sure. And uh what's nice about this is you can do all three grips plus you can do a hybrid. Which is the twist, which is what I do. Right. I really like that. Right. So do you start do. <laughs> do you start with pull-ups and twist to a, a, a chin-up? Yeah, or, you want me to show you? Yeah. yeah. Or well, I can show it too. But Well, I, I wanted to do it. But all right, no, go ahead. No, no, uh, no go <laughs> ahead, Bob. So I'm tall. And the thing about this, the wall keeps you honest too. Yeah. But see, look at this. This is beautiful. So watch the rotation. There's no stress on the joints. You do what the body feels comfortable with. And what I really like about it, you can see the wall keeps you from flipping back right. and forth like a injured minnow. Yeah, it, you're, it, it keeps it, you good form. Yeah, it keeps you focused on. And now you can actually, again, if you order from our website, you get four of these. Right. Um, you can actually do a wide-based one, too, here. Same thing. You can do... Pull-ups, you could do chin-ups. There you go. You can like do what's going on right here. Right. Yeah, you can yeah. do neutral grip. Exactly. So yeah, you get that wider uh, uh, grip, so you get different muscle fibers working. So you get right. that that V shape, like us guys always. Yeah, like yeah, have. we're always striving for it. Exactly. But then you can also do some exercises here. You can do some hanging. Right. Um, One thing I did want to mention: if you do purchase these, they come with three. Oh, acres. yeah, that's true. So you can set they, it they up. They come with three. Right. I didn't know that. Well, Bob. <laughs> Sorry. I should know these things. Well, this is something new. But uh, the thing about this, is, Brad, I was just listening to a guy that knows everything about strength training. Yeah. And he said, if you want to get better at pull-ups, you don't do them to fatigue. In other words, you don't keep doing them until you can't do them anymore. I like that idea. You do it throughout the day, and you do like half of what you normally can do. And so I I put I put this pull up system up by my office, and now every half hour I'll do just like four pull ups or five pull ups instead of doing ten, and I am getting stronger. 
I'm feeling strong like, like balls. balls. Yeah. Uh, actually, I usually do 10 as my max. That's I, what I, I do. I, I did five there. It, it is, it's nice, especially yeah. when you get older. Well, they said you, you're going to enjoy your workout more, yeah. but you're also going to get stronger. And so, your body's going to last longer. Yeah, that's exactly right. Especially if you're over 40 or 50. Yep. So. All, everyone will agree with that. All yeah. right, everybody, get strong like bull. Get Ooh. your pull-up bar system, your pull-up system, Bob and Brad, today. <laughs>